whenever we see patients in the office, we always uh, get the appropriate imaging to evaluate their shoulder pain. That always starts with a plain x-ray. Uh, x-rays give us the ability to look at the overall bone structure, uh, the alignment of the, the ball and socket or the humerus and the glenoid respectively. Uh, and it gives us the ability to make sure there's no arthritis, no old trauma, such as fractures or dislocations and whatnot. Um, the main limitation to the x-ray is that it doesn't allow us to evaluate soft tissues. So um, we cannot diagnose the majority of rotator cuff tears off of an x-ray alone that requires advanced imaging, either through an MRI or through an ultrasound by somebody who is uh, really well trained in ultrasound um, uh, technology and can, uh, can do the proper exam. So most of the time when we start out with x-rays and we suspect that there's gonna be a rotator cuff problem based on the history in the exam, we'll jump to that advanced imaging step so that we can really pinpoint the tear, characterize it, determine how large it is and come up with a plan to help patients based on the, the specific characteristics of their tear.